This morning, more health leaders are joining calls in support of the CDC's decision to reopen schools now. And now our state's pediatricians are saying that they support students returning to in-person learning. News 8's Allison Royal is joining us live to break down why pediatricians are now giving the green light. Good morning, Nana and Eric. Yes, it has been almost a year since most public school kids here in San Diego County have been able to go to school in person. So this begs the question for a lot of parents. When will kids be back in in-person school? Well, according to CBS News, this Friday, the CDC is expected to release new guidelines on reopening schools. It's expected to focus on five areas of COVID mitigation from basics like masks and social distancing to cleaning and ventilation. But vaccinating teachers will not be considered necessary to reopen. The pandemic has made it hard to ignore inequities in education, like private schools having the means to reopen while public school kids continue distance learning. Now there's a push from pediatricians in our area to have kids return to the classroom. Governor Gavin Newsom has received criticism for California's slowness to reopen schools in comparison to other states. However, he unveiled a $2 billion plan to get kids back in in-person school. Now the issue is that teachers unions are fighting back saying they want teachers to receive the COVID-19 vaccine before they can talk about returning to in-person learning. The American Academy of Pediatrics, however, said students can return to the schools with proper safety modifications and without vaccinations. When done right with masks and social distancing and good hand washing, schools are not a significant source of spread or, um, or starting of outbreaks of COVID-19. And about 500 pediatricians in San Diego and Imperial counties have voiced their support for children getting back in in-person learning. So if vaccinations aren't necessary, it does beg the question, you know, what is the holdup? When we learn about those guidelines on Friday, of course, we will bring that information to you from the CDC at CBS8.com. Netta and Eric.